Okay, so I've been asked to help out with jumping. Now, Oakland is a little more difficult to do this with because he already knows not to jump. Oakland, come here. Come here. Where'd you go? Come here. Come on. There you are. So there are a few different methods you can use to stop jumping. The one I usually do, uh, if you uh, have the right size dog, it's kind of a little more awkward with smaller dogs. So like a bigger dog like him, I would do this with. Now, since again, he doesn't jump, he knows not to, it's going to be a little more hard to show what you do. I'm going to have to try to encourage him to jump, which I normally wouldn't do, but again, trying to help people out here. Oh, come here. Here. See, I let him jump, so what I would do if I don't want him to jump, here. Oh. Yes, I know, here. Up. I would take a knee up. To their chest, I'm like, you didn't even say you're long enough for me to do it. Okay. Up. Really? Yeah, he knows he's not supposed to jump oh. unless he's told to, but even then, he's like, okay, I'm not supposed to be doing this. Why are you telling me to do it? Here. Okay. Open. Here. Okay. Up. Okay, so he's not really making this, oh. making this easier to show. So, uh, well, like I said, you know, very gentle. You need to just kind of give them a little push. So, say, my hand's a dog. They're jumping up here. I just gently push them off. Gently push them off. And then you give the command that you want to use with it. Now, I use off for a variety of things. And this is one case where I would use off, too. Now, another method you can use if a dog's jumping is the turn your back. So... I don't know how much to show for an example here because again, he doesn't like to jump. He knows he's not supposed to. But let's just say my hand again is a dog. Got the dog coming up me, up to me. They start to jump. I turn my back. They're not getting the attention that they want. So they're all hyped up. They want to see you. They want to greet you. They want to sniff you. All that. You're turning your back on them. They can't get to your face. They can't get that attention they want. That's one way to help teach them not to jump. Now another method I can use. I'll be using treats for this one. Let me just get some here. Is you got that all coming up to you. Open here. Now, before they can jump, right before they reach you, so I'm gonna actually get this to show a little more of this area here. This is an awkward spot to be training. Alright, back up, back up, back up. Okay. Okay. Now, let's throw on the brush and sit. You want to catch that before they get to you. Have them sit before they reach you. Okay? Sit. Yes. Alright, back up. Alright, here. Sit. Yes. Now, that one's a little more complicated to do because, again, you got the excited dog, you're going to be running, not casually walking like he does. So. It's making it really hard to train. <laughs> better be, it would be better for me to do this at work with that dogs we have at work. I work at a board and train, train facility, but since I'm not there right now and I got asked for help tonight, we're going to do the best we can here. Now, there is a bit more variety on this of the approaching and reward. So, what you would do for this one is it's again tricky, but not just because he knows not to jump, but because you gotta get the dog to jump in order to do this one. So you're gonna have the treats. Now, what I would do with this when I'm helping other people out and like when I can meet with them and help them out, I would go through the door in and out. So the dog's so excited, so I'm running up, jumping, excited, I have these treats on me. So what you can do is, you know, it might look stupid, it might take time, go in and out, in and out. And as they're coming up to run up to you and jump on you, you know, the treats ready. So as they approach, you're gonna have your hand out, so they're coming up here. They smell the treats. So back up. Now as he comes up to me, here. He's gonna see that I have these treats, and he's going for the treat instead. So then he's going to the treat and not me. Back up. He comes up. I got the treats ready right there. He goes to the treat, not me. Back up. Back. Okay. Treats out. Ooh, my voice just got to there. And he goes to the treat instead of me. Now, you can also do something like, you know, 
have the dog crated, wait until they calm down in the crate, and then let them out. You don't want to get all excited when you come in the door. You don't want them to have, you know, all this hype up energy when they see you. You want them to be calm before you greet them. And another method you can do, um, we have to make a kind of a part two to this video, maybe stitch them together or something, I'm not sure yet, is why are you huffing at me? <laughs> Having a place command. It's a very useful command to know. Why are you huffing?